That's really cool. That's cool. Did y'all get to look at that formation that I pointed out as we came through? That's called our frozen Niagara. I wanted to tell you about it. Um, it's estimated that that's six million years old. It takes 125 years for one cubic inch of that limestone to grow. So you can imagine wow. how long it's been at work. All right, we're going up these stairs. They're slick, so be careful. Use the rail. No, no. Oh, I'm up. I'm up. Yeah, we're almost all right. Can you all at the top of the stairs? Wow. Nice to meet you. Can everybody hear me? Yeah. Yeah. All right. You're in the Gilkey room right now. It's named after John Quincy Gilkey, who opened the caverns in 1939. This is one of the most beautiful rooms in the caverns because there's so many different formations and colors in here. Debbie. You guys back there, if you'll look right there, and you guys right here, you can just look behind you, you got a good spot. That right there is called cave coral. It looks like ground beef or cauliflower. That forms an under a drip pool where a puddle of water is set for millions of years and the minerals just build up and up in these little tiny balls like that. Now all these different colors in here are caused by different minerals that come through the swaths. The orange that you're seeing in the cavern is iron oxide or iron rust. The blue, this is the only room in the cavern where you can see the blue, that's cobalt. The green is mostly algae caused from our lighting system. And the dark back here that's in these cracks and crevices through here, all along that wall, that's manganese. There's more stairs over here to go down, so be careful, they're wet. Alexis, I'm so glad you suggested. <laughs> this is beautiful. This is she went she went through this when she was a kid. Wow. She said we need to do Look this. at that. I, I love this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Wow. I remember it vaguely, but Wow. Stairs here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Everybody be careful. <laughs> I'm careful. Oh, I'm talking to the kids behind me. Yeah. <laughs> Roy, this is, this is spectacular. This is spectacular. We got everybody? Yeah. They're coming. All right. Back this way, y'all will look behind, behind that chain where that water's coming from. That back there, well, it leads, the water's coming from our signature pool. We call it that because in 1884, the first explorers that went there carved their names into the rocks. If y'all like to see a picture of that, there's one next to the ticket register in the gift shop. There's some really cool pictures of the cave on that bulletin board. You should check it out. Now, if you look back through there, you see there's no walkway. There's just water. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a tough head. Trust me. All right. I used to rock climb. It's a tough head. All right. You can see it's just water and rocks back there. That's pretty much what it would have looked like here when the first explorers came. There would have been no pathway. Then we just had to wade through water and rock. So it would have been a pretty tough traveling in here. Now, if y'all look over here, this dark fudge looking stuff, this is calcified mud. And up here, we have these little things that look like elephants. I love these little things. It's pretty neat. All right. Everybody just follow me and be careful. I'm going to gather up in a semicircle right here in this room. Like it. Just get up against that chain. Thank you very much. Yeah, not too far anymore. Have you been more wet? All right. Is that everybody? Yes. Yep. All right, you guys. In just a second, I'm going to show you total darkness. So if you have any video cameras or glowing watches, anything that's going to put off any light, just the slightest amount of light will pull the effect. So I'm going to ask that you cover it up or turn it off for just a couple of minutes for me. All right. Y'all going to grab somebody. Do it now.